hey everyone in this video i'm going to teach you how to make these five text animation which will make your video looks clean so let's get into the video because now i will type a text over here okay we will align it to center and we will scale it up perfect now we will open our text property and we will select this position and now we will set this position to uh, like 150 yep now we'll press on this add and select this property and select opacity and at the beginning the opacity will be zero now we will open our range selector and we will make a keyframe on this offset and at the beginning it will be negative 100 we will go a few frames forward and we will change it to positive 100 now we will open our advanced property and we will select this to ramp up we are selecting ramp up because uh, we want the text to like come from bottom to top you can see uh, if we select this ramp down so you can see the text will uh, go at the bottom for now we will select this ramp up and we will uh, you can see this is high we will change it to negative 100 so it will look something like this I think it's too fast perfect we will uh, change this uh, position to 160 yep now it's looking good now we will open this property and we will add a blur and make this blur like to 38 yes 38 will be good you can see this blur effect so this is our first text animation so let's move to our second text animation okay for now second animation we will again type a text perfect we will align it to center and scale it up okay so now we will open a text property and press on this position and for this animation we want our text to come from top towards the bottom for that we will change its position to minus 73 minus 73 perfect and now we will add a opacity and change its opacity to zero and open this range selector and click on this offset at the beginning it will again minus 100 go a few frames forward change it to positive 100 and open this advanced property and change it to ramp up so it will look something like this first we will change this ease high to minus 100 minus 100 so this will look something like this perfect you can see the text animation how good it looking and again for the spice we will add this blur make a keyframe don't need to make keyframe and change its blur to 31 perfect you can see how clean it's looking so let's move to our third animation okay now we will type our text we will align it to center yep like this now we will open our text property and we will select this opacity and at the beginning opacity will be zero and now open range selector and at the beginning we will make a keyframe on this end and start and now we will go a few frames forward and we will change this end to uh, 50 and start will also be 50 okay perfect now we will <clears throat> open this advance and we will change its shape to round and for easy ease we will do a, a like positive 100 and for ease low we will do a negative 100 so this is how the animation looks like i think it's too fast let's see perfect it looks so clean and if you want you can also add this blur like this i think it's not working blur game i can't show 
Okay, so now we will move to our fourth animation. Is a third. Okay, so we will type a text. And we will scale it up. Open a text property. Select opacity. Opacity will be zero at the beginning. Open the range selector. And now we will click on this offset. And at the beginning offset will be zero. Go few frames forward and change it to 100. <laughs> now again we will create opacity. Click on this opacity. And now at the beginning, like at this point, the opacity will be zero so now we will select on this offset for now we want to like fade out fade out our text so for that we will select this layer to minus 100 and we will go to zero like this so it will look something like this like it's looking so clean so now we will duplicate this text and we will click on this collector panel and now we will remove its fill so for that we will click on this swipe fill and stroke so now our fill has been removed and we will click we will this close this layer and you can see our fill part is over here so now we will select open this layer and place this layer above this fill text and we will make offset like this so like first stroke text will appear and then you can see our fill text is animating so it will look something like this perfect and we will open a motion blur perfect so this is looking super clean <clears throat> okay so now we'll move our new animation so in this animation we will learn how to slice our text like how to cut our text so first we will type our text and scale it up like this okay perfect now we will select this pen tool and we will make a mask over here like we will make a mask like this so basically it cut out the text and you will duplicate this and press M to see the mask and you can click on this invert when you click this like when you check this invert so you can see this our second part is also visible so we will drag this and place it under the first part perfect okay so now we'll press P for position and at the beginning it will be like the same as it is and go a few frames forward and we will change its position so it will look something like this yep you can see this cut out perfect press f9 perfect now we will uh, apply some drop shadow increase the opacity and distance first we will select the softness softness will be 200 and change this and we will arrange this distance like this i think that's good now we will press on opacity and we will place it over here at the beginning it will be zero so it will look something like this perfect and we will select this all keyframe and drag it forward at the beginning we will apply our text animation And again, we will apply this. So it looks something like this. You can see how clean it looks. This cutout effect. Perfect. We will open a motion blur. And let's see it again. Perfect. It's looking so clean. I hope you guys learned something new from this video if you guys enjoy this video so make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for new updates thanks